I played Terraria's most popular mod, Calamity mod, and well, let's go. So I woke up one day and my underdeveloped brain said to me, Hey, maybe you should try out Calamity Mod. I take that back. Just a short note, this is not my first playthrough for which I have originally planned. The reason being that most of my footage was corrupted. I will also be using a Tetra Pack that I think looks good. Probably. And for my selected class of this playthrough. Alright. Let's see what I get. Yippee! I mean, it isn't that bad. Alright. Uh, let's do it. First try. First try. First try. Aha! First try. Ranger. I made a new character to start and made a new world. I decided for the world evil to be Crimson because there was a boss I wanted to fight that is exclusive to Crimson. I was too unoriginal at the time, so I named it this. Oh God. Oh, I loaded it and opened my starter bag. For those who don't know, Calamity Mod adds a feature where you receive a starter bag when you load into a world with a new character. It contains some starter weapons and potions along with some chests to help with storage. I checked out some of the items the bag dropped and chopped down some trees and I refused to plant any crimes. Hashtag team tree. I wanted flat land, so I decided to clear out an area, but I forgot to do one smart thing. After I cleared out some space for land, I ended up struggling with some some flowers. After a minute, I built two NPC houses for the guide NPC and later the merchant. Yeah, free real estate. America. I went to explore the right side of my world and found a cave. I noticed that the merchant NPC wasn't going to arrive soon, since the lumberjack NPC from Fargo's Mutant mod had moved in. He sold every type of wood, so that meant I didn't need to cut down trees anymore. I explored the cave a bit further, but this happened. I went back and I got killed by slimes this time. I found a life crystal when I spawned back and I accidentally used my potions. Yeah. I mined for some more, then headed back to make a house for myself. I had a structure built and added another floor to my NPC house for which I placed a pylon. I went exploring to the right, and I found my first Calamity mob, Wolfram. a Wolfram amplifier. The Wolfram enemies were like mechanical beings. The amplifier mainly attracts other Wolfram enemies to the player that attack you. Each one drops a Wolfram scrap, which is the material to make start equipment I won't need because I'm Ranger class. I died to the flying room of machine. Oh no. I spawned back and I tried adding walls and beams to the house, but it wasn't that great. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I 
had to finish it off camera since I had to look back at my other house and see how I did it. And you know, the NPC house, it just changed automatically. I didn't have to do any work. Like I didn't go back to my room. I also made a storage room under the entrance and no, I am not using a magic storage system, which is not an excuse that I don't know how to do it, but I don't want to. What do you mean by that? I explored the left and found a cave that led me to a dead end, which wasn't that bad because the desert. <coughs> a while, Nidron decided to pay me a visit. Nidron, you have the high ground, but that's good for me. Give me some sand. And I killed it. When I did, it dropped an accessory called the Amidia Spark. It said that when I take damage, blast the spark will release and do damage to nearby enemies, which helped me in some situations. I went further to the left and found another one. Oh wow, that's that, that's cool. I'm wet. I, I I'm not I'm not seeing that back. I'm literally dripping wet. Oh crap, but I died to it. I went back to the desert and I dug down and I came across a pyramid. Wait, oh, there's a- Which had a sandstorm in the bottom, which was pretty epic. But also below it, there was a new calamity structure that has a chest and a desert spirit lamp. From the chest, I got an accessory called the Luxor's Gift, which made every weapon emit a projectile, which was pretty slow, but it was good. When I started to explore a bit more, I found a calamity enemy called the Storm Lion. Once you killed it, it dropped a Storm Lion Manable, which can be used to craft a gun, I, I will use later on, and a spawner for the first boss. After a bit more of exploring, I died uh -oh. to a Storm Lion and I was sent back home. Wait, what the heck? No, I dropped my gold! I went back and I found a new biome added by Calamity, the Sunken Sea. Although this was epic, I couldn't mine any blocks because I needed a golden pickaxe. And I don't think I have that in my inventory. At home, I made iron armor and went back for like the one, two, fourth time, I think. No. I don't know. And I found an underground house thing, but most importantly, in that chest, I found the ancient chisel. But most importantly, the magic conch and as well as the spawner for the first boss. Also a quick fact about Calamity, it adds a lot of new recipes for vanilla items to help with game progression. Anyway, back to the video. I made 4 more NPC houses under my base for the arms dealer to move in when I get a gun. I went past my desert and I found an actual enchanted sword shrine. It's an enchanted sword shrine. Yeah, I thought so too. This is something I never seen before, so I have no explanation for what this is. So um Yeah, it's like uh You know, it's like that that one thing that you, you, you know about it? Yeah, alright, cool. I don't care because like uh I think it's better if I just shut up. Oh the jungle. I found the entrance to the jungle, but as from my reaction, I clearly wanted to find another biome. Specifically, the Crimson. I used my magic conch and found the Sulfurous Sea. 
While I was looking for the crimson biome, I found a familiar structure. I went into the cave and found the area for the crimson. For some reason, it spawned in the sulfur sea biome, but it doesn't matter because all I only needed to get was the undertaker and I got it first try. Four new NPCs spawned, but neither were the arms dealers, so I made two new houses. The boss I was going to fight was called the Desert Scourge, so I started preparing. I made a full set of tungsten armor, which made me look like Robin Hood. I went to the desert and made a small arena for the fight. The arms dealer has moved in, so I used my recall potion and realized I couldn't buy the mini shark. The mini shark? No, I cannot. I won't have enough. I sold some items and went back with enough money, but. He raised the price, I think. Leaving without the mini shark, I went to the arena and summoned the boss. <laughs> I beat it first try, it also dropped some items I won't need and along with some I do need. It dropped a few materials to craft something known as scene remains. Using the scene remains, I can make an armor set called the Victite armor set that will carry me until I beat a certain boss. One item the boss also dropped was its lore, which to note, every boss has a lore item which basically has a backstory about the current boss. I'll pull up the Scourge's lore item right now. I went to the arms dealer and bought a mini shark. I also crafted a weapon called the Storm Surge using one Stormline Mandible and some other drops from a Scourge. Oh my God! This turned out to be one of my favorite weapons in Calamity. Since my next armor set was a Victide armor set, I tried crafting it with Seaver means, but one thing though, I didn't have enough materials to craft it. Since the boss dropped the materials, I fought it again so I could get the materials to make the full armor set. It was about to be nighttime, so I went to make the suspicious looking eye. The spawner for the Cthulhu, Vanilla Terraria's most iconic boss. I went to my arena and summoned the unsanitary flying eyeball.
I killed it first try and I killed it a few more times to get that money. It dropped a shield of Cthulhu which was epic since it allowed me to dash and it also dropped its lore item. However, on my final attempt, I kept it alive long enough so that it turned game timed and it enraged. So, um, that was pretty cool. Like, it wasn't that bad. Alright, that was the end of this video. If you want more of this as a series, click the thumbs down button. I mean, um, click the thumbs up button so I know when to upload because I can definitely read. What I said before was a lie. This will be my last video ever. April Fools, he got pranked. This video took a while to make, so it's best that you should totally subscribe.